Welcome to another podcast of the current situation at Manchester United. Manchester United beat the Saints at the St. Mary Peter Park or whatever the name is. Manchester United beat Southampton by three goals to two. Um, first of all, Manchester United was conceding by two goals to nil in the first half. Now, if memory serves me right, this happened twice. The first time, maybe it happened before, but I'm talking about based on my remembrance, which is very young. Is uh, I think it was in September of 2012 or August of 2012 where Van Persie rescued Manchester United with a hat-trick. But before Van Persie's uh, victory with the hat-trick, which would translate to a victory of Manchester United. My my man was was losing by two goals nil, by a Marcy, by a Pochettino's Southampton side, which was very solid. And um, yeah, Van Persie came through in the first half with one goal, I believe. He equalized, or it is in the second half. Either or, the point is that Manchester United beat the Saints. In 2012 in that match now two years ago when I remember when I was talking about Southampton sucking Mark Hughes in my preview yeah two years ago Southampton actually took the lead by two goals to nil and Lukaku with a goal and Rashford I think Lukaku actually scored two goals in that game but um, although we didn't win the match we came back to actually equalize the game so this is no this is nothing new on the street for Manchester United. Manchester United are the kings of comebacks. And in terms of I ain't go get into the individual play because that first half was just it wasn't it wasn't a top side, top class performance. But David Hea got injured and he was taken off. I guess he couldn't uh he couldn't bother with conceding no more goals. So my man said, bro, I can't bother with conceding more goals. Just take me off ASAP pronto rapido. And uh, yeah, Ole did just that. But Manchester United show sure, a little bit of resiliency. They, they put on the nature man named Tarzan in the second half. I mean, my man had his boots. He had to uh, change his boots. Although he didn't score with his boots. But uh, his, his boots helped him and his second half performance was really... There are a lot of persons that is speaking about his Edison Cavani, the finished product. Of course, he's peaked at PSG, but is there any strategy that would allow him to actually score goals at Manchester United? Because people think that he's just a finished article, which he is in terms of... Uh, being a top player but they, they're saying that from the sense of him being a finished player like he cannot play at a top tier level no more so this nigga for sure shouldn't be at a top club although manchester united based on uh uh performances is not really a top club or just a top club with history but cavani is sh- showed why he's still in demand cavani shows why he can still command respect in the aspect of the opposition box when my man is in the opposition that's going to lead to a location called depression for the opposition that is just that's just reality that's just reality fox edison cavani's work i told you guys what did i told you guys in my previous videos if you don't believe me that the man is good at headers ask his wife if he has a wife or ask his mistress if he has a mistress ask his side piece if he has a side piece or ask his missus uh, uh missus if he has a missus my man gives good head ask his wife brethren his wife gives good head so i think he won't give good head in the opposition box you think my man's going to be uh one way one way street with with with, with, with the female and not sending no goals through an email in the position box. You think that's not... You think... I mean, I, my man is a fox in the box. He eats goals. He thrives on headers in the box. When Edison Cavani is playing, dude, cross the ball in the box, please. Yes, we, are, we have had 
a few attempts from I've seen that Aaron Omistaka is crossing the ball more. And we need that for sure because we cannot be allowing uh Alex Tays to be our playmaker like Robo at Liverpool being his pl- the playmaker from, from wing box. We cannot we can allow one guy to to be playmaking. Yes, Bruno Fernandes play me, but I'm talking about crosses from with the width of the pitch, not from in the not chance creation in the center of the circle or in the final third of the pitch. I'm talking about on the width of the pitch. Juan Bissaka is improving his game, and when he improves his game, that's where he's going to gain experience. Um, he's going to ex- he's going to improve his attacking play through the display that he's putting on the pitch. Now, Bruno Fernandes, um, I believe Bruno Fernandes is going to get a good amount of numbers this season. I mean, he's getting into Frank Lampard's numbers slowly but surely. Um, well, Frank Lampard scored long-range goals, bro. You know, Frank Lampard scored a lot of long-range goals. Give Bruno Fernandes time to sit and he will start doing just that. He scored a couple of out-of-the-box goals first already uh, against... It's um uh, Everton last season against um against Istanbul in Champions League and a couple more times. So give this guy time and he will be scoring goals. This guy's position is as a his best position is as a second striker. That is where Frank Lampard played for Chelsea since um again I'm not a Chelsea fan, so you have to excuse my misuse of dates but i would say probably about 2007 no probably 2004 actually when Mourinho came in yeah that's where my man started banging goals for fun and um yes manchester united has really been people say it's fun uh not funny people say it's lucky people will say it's fortuitous dude it's mentality coming from adversity that is just the reality and if you have a reality of hatredness to the prowess of manchester united that's on you bro you have problems bro uh go down to the nearest psychologist and get yourself sorted out because if you have that built-up hatred like i see persons hating on bruno fernandez on twitter hating on bruno fernandez and hating on Paul Pogba and Anthony Martial. I'm going to get into Anthony Martial and speak on him in terms of the feature, is the current situation at Manchester United as relates to Anthony Martial because Martial is not Anthony Martial this season. And I think there's a reason for that. But in terms of the display, bro, Edison Cavani is prowess in the ear. That's what we need from Austria. Again, Igalo is just... Igalo is just uh, he's he's built, but he, I don't see Igalo very that physical in the air. Edson Cavani is not as built as Igalo, but Edson Cavani is very athletic for his age, and he's very fit for his age. My man, I've seen that nigga run up and down on the pitch like he's just a nineteen-year-old black man that is just enthusiastic. Um, full full of enthusiasm on the pitch, like he wants in, he wants entice, he wants to um, he wants to Im- impress, he, and he wants to throw distress and depression to the opposition. That is what my man is doing at the age of thirty three. Where well, my man should be making his bed at thirty three in an infirmary home, but he he say I'm not coming home yet, bro. I have goals in me left. And I'm going to score them for Manchester United of the number ni- uh, number seven. And I want Manchester United's number seven to take the first elevator back to heaven because we haven't been to heaven in terms of the number seven since 2009. When my man num- left number, my, when Ronaldo left Manchester United to be a number nine at Real Madrid. We cannot allow that. So my man is banging goals right now. And I hear per- person seeing saying that oh he's the next Falco. My man is better than Falco in his prime. And my man is actually better at Manchester United than Falco. Um but speaking of Edison Cavani he says here 
that um, Edison Calvani's Instagram post to be investigated by the Football Association. Now, I guess what they're trying to... Oh, they're saying that Edison Cavani could face three games banned as FA investigates social media posts. Again, I've, I've not seen his social media posts, but then again, bro, you have to understand that Spanish is not translated exactly as it was as it would be in english so i think that's just an over i think that's just hatred because they, they don't want the old man they don't want the tarzan nigger to be scoring goals for manchester united so um they start hating him trying to give kavan disciplinary action bro just relax yourself now um danny van de beek started and i believe he that's what i said i believe Given that Scott McTominay is out and Paul Pogba is out, I mean, shoot, Danny, uh, Luke, well, he had to like throw out Danny Van de Beek on the pitch. So, um, yeah, that's a very good performance. He's a tidy player. He reminds me of somewhat of Under Herrera, but he's better than Herrera in terms of being more tidy in possession of the ball. Uh, I don't think him being as good as Herrera is in terms of tackle is a, is a good comparison, but he's he's decent. But like I said, my man should be third man midfield. He should be a third man midfielder when he's running from midfield. My man should be playing the same role Aaron Ramsey played for Arsenal. Our, 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 Aaron Ramsey was not a striker. But when Arsenal was attacking, my man ran from midfield like a dog was running him down and he came into the box. To be a fox in the box and score goals. My man has over 60 goals for Arsenal and he's and he's a CM. That's what Danny Van de Beek needs to be doing. Along with, because he has more attributes than Aaron Ramsey, don't get me wrong. But in terms of like attacking, that's where my man needs to be doing. Allow Fred and Matic to close. When Danny Van de Beek is running the box, Matic, old boy Matic, and um, Fred needs to cut down. Fred cover, Matic breaks up the play. And that will lead to a display of him scoring goals, Danny Van de Beek. Now, that is a very short off from Danny Van de Beek. Um, yes, yeah, so Manchester United cling three points. We are into the top ten right now. We still have a long way to go. Um, this is where I want to go to um, Anthony Martial. Anthony Martial hasn't been in form this season. And I think that's informed a lot of Manchester United fans that last season was just a fluke, fraudulent performance. Um, he scored 23 goals last season. And people are saying, well, no average player scores 23 goals in one season and then just goes to crap the other season. Darren Bent had similar numbers and I said that on Twitter a couple of weeks ago. Darren Bent had similar numbers. Jermaine Defoe had similar numbers. Were they average strikers? No, but they were above average strikers. The point is that the point is that Martial is not really a top class striker just because he gets 23 goals last season. No. I would be a liar if I said he, my man doesn't have qualities because that's a lie in itself too. He has qualities, but I, have, I hear a lot of persons saying, well, Anton Martial, you know, uh, he's not a striker. Play him on the left wing. Rashford is not a striker. Play him on the left wing. I bet you weren't saying that when Rashford just came out of the economy. I bet you weren't saying that, were you? You were not saying that. When my man was playing up top on the LVG, Rashford and Martial, no person was saying, well, Rashford is not a striker. He should, play in, he should be playing as a winger. That started when Mourinho came in because Mourinho is not going to use a Martial or a Rashford type of striker up top. Mourinho loves his big number nines to get in line into the box. That's Mourinho's claim. To, that's Mourinho's MO. You know, so my man is not going to use no uh, skinny striker up top. I'm playing long balls to him. Unless it's like Fellaini. And Fellaini is not at Manchester United. 
So that is where things changed for the worse. You could say their striker's instinct was um, kind of leaking out, basically, when they were started playing wide. Because when man signed Lukaku, that was sending a message to Marcel and Rashford that you're not, you're not going to be starting up top at least that much. Plus, I have Ibrahimovic coming back. You have to play on the wing, bro. You have to play on the wing, bro. So, Anthony Martial is um, out of form. Anthony Martial, this, this is how I see Anthony Martial getting back in form. Martial needs to work on himself. Obviously, he's a young player. He, needs, he has time to work on himself. The problem with Martial is that there are a lot of persons, including myself, saying that he's lazy. And he is. He is. He's playing like a person that is wearing early 2000 Timbaland boots. He needs to be a player that's playing on his toes. He's not very instinctive. He's not very impulsive. My man is like my man is on like weed or something. Like it's going to take him like five minutes to like make a turn like a tanker in a war zone or something. It's like he's so slow in his movement. Again. Him and Kavan is different types of strikers, but I'm talking about instinct. All strikers need instinct to score. Pues, answer this question to yourself. And again, leave your comments down below in the comment section on your thoughts on the, uh, the Manchester United game against the Saints, which were not really the Saints because my man did us dirty in the first half. But we go, we go, we go, we go address that the next time but um leave your comments down below on the thoughts on manchester united performance it is to cover on his performance and your monthly match performance well we think i think we know who that is already but um anthony marcel needs to be working on his no this is the question if marcel was in the same position in the same situation and location as edison cover for those two heading goals do you think Marcel will be scoring those types of goals. Marcel, Marcel needs every. Marcel is the type of striker that needs ball to feet. My man is not going to dive. My man is too. Con, uh, my man is too, too obsessed with how he looks. My man is too lazy to be diving. My man is a lit under his butt. To be diving for those headers if he was in those situation. Marcel is too slow. He needs to be more aggressive. Again, when it comes on to dribbling one on one, Marcel will kill any man any day. But I'm talking about instinctive, impulsive finishing in the box. Number nine, 1950s old fashioned type of striking right now. I'm talking about no modern day Ronaldo Nazario type of dribbling right now. I'm talking about instinctive finishing, impulsive finishing, expensive finishing, exceptional finishing. Marcel has great finishing, but in terms of like aerial finishing, he's not that great. Yes, he scored a few aerial goals, but that's just not enough. That's just not enough. That's not enough. What my man needs to be doing is working on himself. He, again, he's, he's very good when he's playing as a wide man. But my man needs to be working. He, he has the number nine for, the, for a reason. He's been given back the number nine for a reason. Not to be in line with a winger. He's a striker. Play him as a striker. That's the position he wanted back. He got it. He needs to work on it. He's out of form. He's out of form. And Ole basically said before the game that, you know, my man is sick, uh, you know, uh, he, he, he's sick and uh, he's in the hospital alone, poor lad. I don't think that's 100% true. I think my, hold on. I think Ole basically told Marcel to work on himself because I think he's trying to protect criticisms from Anthony Marcel, which I would not totally disregard or disparage or disagree with but my man needs to be lay he needs to be thrown into the deep end speaking of diving my man needs to be thrown into the deep end and taking criticism criticism is going to develop 
strength of character. If Marcel doesn't get that, he's going to still be wearing pampers and diapers if uh if uh if Olich continues to baby him. That's why my man crumbled when Mourinho was in charge. Because Mourinho doesn't 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 deal with that type of that type of nonsense. My man loves players that go through brick walls for him. That's why people may have criticized Mourinho for loving players like Fellaini, Lukaku, uh, Zlatan, Matic, uh, other uh, all old players. But you have to understand that Martial is a different striker than Cavani, yes? But in terms of finishing, bro, in terms of box center forward finishing my man needs to be working on that he's not he's just lazy bro it's like you need to to light a a, a fire under his butt or something for him to be moving too lazy too lazy um again this is not going to be a long video podcast i hope but i'm going to finish up now and say manchester united has a lot of potential we have bruno fernandez as one of the leaders on the pitch, he's going to give us a lot of goals. He's, a, he's our top scorer at the moment, in this moment in time. Followed by Marcus Rashford. Um, Mason Greenwood needs to get his head out of his ass. Because again, I love Mason Greenwood. But Mason Greenwood, I don't want Mason Greenwood to be far by the wayside, by the highway and byway of like um, Ravel Morrison. He's better than that. And I'll be very surprised if my man has the same personality as uh, Ravel Mars. Again, we know that he has the talent, Mason Greenwood, but having the talent can bring you so far. If you can display the talent on the pitch, then you just have talent on paper. You just have talent on paper. You need to extract that talent on the pitch. You need to install that talent on the pitch. <laughs> So again, leave your comments down below on your thoughts on the game against, you can tell a thumb tight, right? Against the Saints. <laughs> the Saints thought that they were going to get three points because it was a Sunday morning. And the pitch was like, Sunday morning, Sunday. Yes, when the Saints go marching in, we're going to heaven. We're going to get the three points. We're playing against Red Devils. God would never allow the Red Devils to beat us. They're the Red Devils. They're, they're off the enemy. Well, I mean, we get three points either way. So it's basically just uh, stop your display of preaching and just abort it and shut the hell up. Manchester United stole the spoils from the Saints. But um, leave your comments below in, in the comment section and your thoughts. And Manchester United's game against the Saints, against Southampton. Well, we can do better in terms of the defense, because again, the def def like I usually say, the defense is the essence of getting a clean sheet. If the defense is not on par with the goalkeeper, then we're going to be on different bang book pages, communicating in different languages. So it's best that Manchester United know. In terms of verbal communication or uh, non-verbal communication, what's uh, we need to know what side are we on? Should one defender go back or stay? Should the should the goalkeeper ch make charge or stay on his line? Manchester United need to be in line with their defense. So again, um, Manchester United is climbing up the ladder in, in terms of the table. Um, I think there's a Champions League fixture this week. I'm going to check. But if there is, I'll do a preview for whoever will go play. I think it's probably RB Leipzig. At, away from home or something like that. But um, hope you guys enjoy the of your, your Sunday night. Hope you guys stay safe. Lockdown is where I am around. In Toronto. So, you guys don't take the COVID lightly. It's a very deadly pandemic. Um, stay safe. And I'll show you guys in the next video podcast. Again, like and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. And your thoughts on the game. Who is the man of the match. 
and I'll show it to you guys in the next video podcast. Peace.